Since the beginning of commercial aviation, each successive generation of aircraft has become increasingly automated, and this automation has contributed to a step change in efficiency and safety. We are now forging ahead to build out autonomous systems for the next generation of aircraft to enable another significant increase in safety. My name is Arni Stoschek. I lead the project Wayfinder at Acubed. After Airbus' recent autonomous takeoff, taxi and landing demonstrator success, our team is now embarking on a massive real-world data collection campaign with our flight test lab in the Bay Area. This will help us to improve the performance of our machine learning software, our data collection pipeline, and our auto labeling capability. Hi, I'm Paul Smith. My title is the head of flight test and operations. My role is to build, develop, and train a test team for the Wayfinder project, and I'm a test pilot by trade. I wanted to join the Wayfinder team and be a part of the adventure because I've been involved in aviation almost my whole life, and fundamental to aviation is the desire to be safe, reduce pilot workload, and, and improve efficiency. We picked the Beechcraft Baron 58 for a couple of reasons. One, it's very efficient to operate. Uh, number two, it's a twin engine aircraft, so the center nose is available for any kind of modifications or instruments that we want to put in it. And it has a free unobstructed view of the, of the area in front. It also mimics the characteristics in terms of, of field of view and, and visibility out of the cockpit of a commercial aircraft. My name is Daniel Henry and I'm the primary flight test engineer and test director for the Wayfinder flight test campaign. On the Wayfinder flight test lab, we have three main goals that we're trying to achieve here. First is developing the hardware platform itself that's meant to be a data collection platform to collect camera imagery on approach on an aircraft flying into various different airports. The second part is to then collect data from all of those approaches and flights that we're doing to feed the machine learning algorithms that are being developed by the Wayfinder team to create autonomous takeoff and landing capabilities. The third part then is to actually run those algorithms in real time on the aircraft and be able to demonstrate all of that working in real time. The primary objective for the first flight was for us just to get off the ground and capture some data on the first flight and make sure that the Wayfinder flight lab was working as intended. So not only did, were we able to prove that the system was working as we expected it to, we actually were able to collect some usable data for the machine learning team as well, which was, was a bonus for that first flight. Now that we've proven that all systems are go, we're really starting to ramp up here and turn this into a heavy push for data collection. We're looking forward to sharing our preliminary results.